Hey guys, so today we are going to be going over the most recent updates in Japan. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to cover today, so let's just get right into it, starting with the banners. So there is a really good banner this week, and I already pulled all the steps on it, and I got a lot of stuff that I really did want, like the Moa Nenso. I'll do a review on Moa pretty soon, because she's a great unit, and I really want to show off her skin. But um, <clears throat> anyways, the way that this banner works is it seven steps and 2500 gems per step and each step is guaranteed one limited five star and so and part of what makes this banner so great is these nensos are split up into groups based around their theme such as like summer swimsuits and such so there's only like four or five nensos that are guaranteed in any given step which drastically improves the odds that you're going to get something that you want this banner also doesn't give out three star nensos it's five it's four and five star nensos only which is super nice because it'll give you more fodder towards those reliefs that you want to upgrade the rest of your limit breaks on said limited nensos that you're pulling now there's a ton of other banners to go over so let's just go over them real quickly 614 paid is going to give you 614 shards of a random five star unit this unit banner does contain all the units in the game, but keep in mind that when you put all the units in the game into one banner, it does dilute the pool a lot, but it does have one guaranteed 5-star unit per pool. Nyx has finally arrived in Tagatama. He was first uh, shown off. I can't remember if Nyx was the Lust or uh, Sloth Babble or both, but he is finally a unit. He's a Thunder Support unit. And Dark Setsuna has also made her way to Tagatame. Uh, some of you ha might have seen her around already. She's basically like Setsuna, just less dressed, somehow. Um, we are going to be, have an opportunity to get the shards we need to transmute her, most likely through a retweet event, if we hit a certain number of retweets. And based on the certain on the number of retweets I saw last, it's looking a lot better than Dark Zane did. So hopefully we'll get a hold of that, and I won't have to try to pull for her. I do kind of want her. Uh, she, she is looking pretty good. She's got the uh, Swordmaster along with a uh, along with uh, Shura Holy Brawler, which is going to be super nice. Uh, I already did some uh, damage tests on her, and it looks like she's going to be AoEing for about 15,000 damage, if I uh, read it correctly. So we have a banner here, a 9-step banner for the Nyx and Marinenses with a selector on Step 9. Mara's, Mara's banner is still available, and it's one of two banners that still has access to the discount ticket. So if you notice here, there's a TP sign above the magnifying glass. Uh, that is Taga Pay, and the way Taga Pay works is you pay 2.5,000 gems, and it's going to give you like 500 gems back. There is a chance that you get 2,500 back, but that chance is pretty slim. It's very unlikely you're going to get 2,500 back. You're probably just going to get 500 so the banner effectively becomes worth 2000 so yeah it y you can save more gems overall if you pull a lot of banners but otherwise the discount ticket's still a lot better we do still have access to the dark zane banner uh one thing to note about the dark zane and the dark sets in a banner is that they share the banner with their respective non-dark counterpart now that doesn't necessarily mean anything per se, because they each have like the even amount of odds of popping on the, any individual banner, but there is no guaranteed unit at the end, there is no like guaranteed pool, so do keep that in mind if you decide to aim for them in that manner. So here we have a 5 star unit with uh, 10 5 star unit banner, and um... <clears throat> The way this banner works is you have three chances to pull whatever units you want. Um, if you already have said unit, it's going to give you 50 shards instead, up from the normal 25. So it's definitely not a bad banner to pull on. Um, one thing you do have to know though is that, once again, since the pool is so large, the amount of units that you can pull are diluted. So odds are not necessarily in your favor in this circumstance. But you do get three tries, and it is going to include the newest units, Nyx and Dark Setsuna. 1.5k paid. So here we have 10 5-star Nenso banner, and this is going to include limited Nensos, because you can see that Mocha is on there, along with uh, along with the uh, Mary Nenso, Nyx Nenso, and Soul Nenso, all of which are limited Nensos. Um, 
it's actually not a bad banner to pull on because if you do manage to get your hands on some of those limited densos that is super nice but I really don't think it's super necessary because we did have access to that seven step banner, which is just going to have better odds. And there's going to be another thing I'm going to talk about here in just a moment. So here we have the 1000 shard banner and the way this banner works is 1.5 K paid and it's going to give you 1000 shards. It's going to basically give you 10, 10 units, just instead of units, it's going to give you 100 shards of said unit. So if you get a unit like Emil, and uh, you get like 200 of your shards from that, you can just transmute her, you know? So it's not that bad. Um, but at the same time, you can also get normal unit units. Um, like up there, you can see Itsuki and Moa are on there. And while they're both great units, you can also farm them. So do keep that in mind if you pull. You do get three chances on this one. So here for 614 paid, you're going to get access, or you're rather you're going to be able to pull for a random type of elemental shard. Um, it's actually not a bad deal, all things considered, but you are rolling the dice here because there is one shard that is better than the rest, and it is the dark shard because there are so many limited dark units, it hurts. And we also, for our last major paid banner, 900, and it's going to give you uh, 10 five-star gears. Now, there are limited gears on this banner. I see the snow globe and the uh, New Year wand, I believe that is. And those are both limited gear. Um, they're both good gear, but they are limited. I just don't think that gear is really worth pulling for at this point, especially if you're well established. So we do have a Soul and Zwei banner. If you really want Zwei, um, this might be a way to get her. It's just, it's a rotating banner, so the odds are really, really not in your favor. If you really like to like whip yourself, feel free. We have a nine step uh, Soul and Zwei Nenso banner. Now this is kind of a really bad banner to pull on unless you really, really want that Soul Nenso. Um, Zwei is obviously non-limited. So once you get to step nine, you should be picking Soul if you pull that banner. And here we have the same deal with Setsuna and her limited Nenso. But this one's only a five step. So that's definitely a lot better if you want Z uh, Setsuna's uh, kimono skin and the potk banner is still available but it's been switched from the uh, discount ticket to taga pay and that is it for the banners so there is one new feature i wanted to go over and we have package deals in here now and this one particular package deal here that you can see is sold out and that is because that is a nenso pick ticket and it's worth 600 yen and it includes limited units or I'm sorry, limited Nensos, such as Mocha's Nenso, which is another thing I got today through this particular deal, so I could get Mocha the unit. Um, there are other uh, banners, obviously, so the higher up you go, with the exception of the, um, obviously the pick ticket is the best, but the higher up you go, the better the rewards get, uh, culminating in 100 rainbow shards and four horns for the highest package. So. While these deals aren't necessarily bad, I also don't think most of them are necessarily good. Obviously, you don't want to be paying like out the ass for a bunch of stuff that you don't really want. Like this one here is that's just abysmal. But th this 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 Nenso pick ticket here, that's really freaking good. You would never be able to get this even in a secret shop with a really good deal. The only time I've seen a deal better with a limited uh, Nenso pick ticket was in the uh, the anniversary event where they gave one out for I think three paid gems but that was like a really special occasion so uh, keep that in mind it you I hear that you can buy that on three different devices too so you can buy it on Android iOS and DMM so you can actually get three of them if you know what you're doing and can get three different devices um, is it worth three probably but at, at the same time that is kind of expensive so let's get into the events now. <clears throat> so for first, first off we have this stage here and this stage is just gonna drop some nice goodies here. Uh, those gold shards are going to drop in stacks of 100 by the way. So if you get them, it is a guaranteed uh, four to five star weapon. And the uh, unit tokens are going to drop in packs of six. Um, not that they're super useful, and you can get those from Mobius too, but, you know. 
it's still nice to have them. Um, I don't think I ever went over this, but we do have some uh, special EXs that are based around the wedding units. There's uh, The wedding events are rerunning right now. If you play Japan and you do not have MOA Plus, one, I don't know what you're doing with your life, and two, get on that like right now. MOA is a great unit. Um, now we do have the... Uh, we do have the tryout stage for the new units, Nyx and um, Dark Setsuna. So if you haven't uh, done them yet, make sure you do them before they expire so you can get a hold of those extra shards and those gems. The POTK event in the Tricot Lab is still ongoing and it'll be going on for about 16 more days. So do that if you haven't done it yet. Although I'm sure most people have more or less finished up what they have started. So for the VCR stage this week, it's going to include all regions. So you can use any Nenso you want. I'll just show you my team real quick. Um, these are the Nensos I'm going to be running this week. It's going to include Ultimas, uh, <clears throat> Kagodos, as well as the POTK Nenso, Kuza, Daisy, and Mocha. So the, most of these are new Nensos that I recently got my hands on. And hopefully once this week is done, I'll be able to just mac, uh, ratty the rest of them up to 100% for their VCRs. And that's it for here. So let's switch over to the main story here. So hard quests this week are going to have rate right up. All hard quests, including Babel hard quests and regular hard quests are three times drop. So every single time you run it, like if I were to run Moa right now, although I have already run her, uh, that would drop nine shards in total. So definitely make sure to farm as many of these as you can, because it's going to give you a huge jump on all of your farming quests. Um, you know, three times drop is no joke. It does not come around very often. It's the first time we've seen it since the anniversary. So make sure you take advantage of it. Farm as much as you can. Um, if you need to burn leaves this week, burn leaves. Just burn them. Burn as many as you need to farm those hard quests, because it's going to save you like a lot of time. So let's get into the actual event itself instead of these side uh, shows. So as you can see here, there's a unit sitting here. Her name is Kasumi and she is based on the movie. So Kasumi is right now designated as a guest unit. And the way you make her your own unit is you raise that percent bar up to 100%. And to raise it, you need to do things like uh, drop shards into her, like uh, her shards, obviously. You should not be like, light fragging her i don't even know if it would let you to be honest but um you are going to need to raise her up as a unit and then once you have her raised there are going to be certain thresholds where you have to do a special quest and those are at 20 percent 50 percent and 90 percent and these are most likely going to give you the material you need to um raise her up to three star four star and five star so, um, I wouldn't wait too long to start this, although we do have quite a while. So, let's hop into here. The event is done in a Genesis-style event, so obviously I hate it. But, um, for those of the people who like it, I guess good for you. So, we have 47 days more to complete this. And the way the Genesis-style events work, because I don't know if I ever went completely in-depth into this, so let's just do this right now. You have different stages here and you have to clear the stars on each stage and once you've cleared them all you're going to get a gem reward there is normal and once you complete normal it's going to unlock hard quests and hard quests obviously are going to have a better reward the stages are going to drop tickets which then can be used for the boss quests the bosses are set up in a raid style but you don't get assists so you have to do it yourself there's normal and hard boss based on which areas you've beaten you have to beat the normal area to get the normal boss and the hard area to get the hard boss obviously so you use those tickets in this case it's 20 tickets for the normal boss to get a crack at the boss if you kill the boss you get 10 coins and for the hard boss you need gonna cost you 30 tickets per try but it's going to have a 40 coin payout now this boss is obviously a lot harder it has 10 times the hp and it's just a lot more annoying to kill but if you can kill it more efficiently this is the better way to get your coins for the gacha and there is a separate gacha for this and you input coins and you get out shards and other goodies so the way this works is there are five laps 
and to complete each lap you need to deplete the previous lap so as you can see uh, there are numbers next to these items in here, and these correspond to what I have already pulled. Each time you pull something, the number goes down. So as you can see up here with the jackpot, the 40 Kasumi shards, I have already pulled that. So it's 0 out of 1, which means I can't pull it again. Now if we look at the total lineup here, there are obviously 5 laps. And as you complete all the stuff on each lap, you move up to the next until you finally get to the fifth lap and i think it's you can actually reset on the fifth lap if you want to but um honestly i don't see myself doing that much so that's basically how the genesis style events work i think they're kind of tedious to be honest but they did give us pretty much all summer to do it so you know um it's it, it shouldn't be too bad as long as you spend a little bit of time each day um, just make sure to farm your quest so that way you can get the tickets for the bosses. And obviously the POTK event worked the same way with the tri collab. So let's move on to the secret shop and the coin shop. So we have the 614 shop. Obviously 614 is related to a date, which is why it's, it's not just some random number. It's June, June 14th, which is when this whole event started. Now we have two select, well technically we have three select tickets, although the one's not very good. Um, so the first one is going to be a unit select ticket, and this is going to include the Vita units, and it's going to be for 614 paid. Um, if you get this, you should be using it on the Vita units. More specifically, you should be using it on Noin. Noin is an absolute monster in, Jap in the Japan meta. And we also have a Nenso select ticket, which I think is the better deal if you are missing a Nenso, or if you need an annoying Nenso dupe, because, you know, Noin. I think the only one I'm missing in here is actually Courage, is then so, to be honest. But at this point, it's like I don't even know if I still want it. Um, we do have a Relief Select ticket, which is if you need a Limit Break on a Limited Nenso, this is where you're going to want to do it. And you can straight up buy the old Setsuna and Zane Nensos. It's going to give you the Nenso, 10 random tickets, as well as 50 shards of their corresponding character. And there's a whole bunch of other goodies back here that I'm not going to get into. Just make sure you buy out all the stuff for Zenny. Because, you know, it's 614 Zenny. That's, they might as well have just dropped it into your gift box instead of making you do the work. Now we still have access to the uh, POTK shop. Which is just your standard event shop with like 50, sh 50 soul shards or whatever unit it is. Among other things. Um, we do have access to the bride shop still. Which is going to have all the bride skins as well as some other character shards. Um, the unit this week that got its new OG skin is, um, Glance, so if you really like her, and you still use her at this point, because I know I don't, um, she does have access to her OG skin now. So moving on to the coin shop, there isn't too much in here really to show off, except if you can see there in the top right, there is a new Lizbeth and Edgar skin, and as great as they look, I hear you have to go to the movie to get the uh, get a code to get that coin to buy them, so yeah, I guess I'm SOL. No matter how great the skin looks, it's not worth it's not worth a plane ticket to Japan to see what's probably a B movie, you know. <laughs> um, anyways, pretty much everything else in here is the same, but just real quick with the arena and multiplayer. This week we have access to Krima and Lucretia in the arena shop. As well as Moa and Gino in the MP shop. And I already bought out Moa's shards because my Moa is almost maxed. I just got to max her gate 3 now. And that's all I have to say for the shops. So, there is a retweet campaign going on right now. And if we get enough retweets, they're basically going to give us a free Dark Setsuna. And by free, I mean they're going to give us 150 Dark Setsuna frags, which would be super cool. So, if you haven't yet, uh, go on your Twitter and go ahead and retweet that to get the count up. I think we need 15,000 tweets. So, we actually did make a lot of uh, a lot of progress on that today. Uh, Dark Zane is obviously not going to meet the mark. But, Dark Setsuna is well on her way to getting there. Uh, and, that's really all I have to say for this update. I'm just going to take this moment to show off my Moa's new skin. Cause just look at that. That is just, that's just super classy. I'm not gonna lie, it's super classy. Anyways, guys, thanks for always watching.
and I will see you next time.